Hey everyone, today on The Modern Defender, I'm going to show you five striking skills that you can use to help get yourself out of a bad situation. Stick around. If you like the content here in The Modern Defender, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. You can also join the channel, become a member, and receive a lot of exclusive content. So the first one you're going to want to have is a good defensive posture. You've got your walking stick, whether it's in your right hand or your left hand. You're going to want to step back with your dominant side and bring the walking stick up in front of you. You want to be in a balanced position. You don't want to be on like a balance beam type thing. You want to step back into a balanced position so you can move side to side easily. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use that balanced position to set up our first strike. And our first strike is going to be a downward strike across the hands. So we step back, we bring it up and move to the side a little bit and we strike down. So we're going to go up and down on the offending limb. Are they trying to grab me? Do they have a weapon? Are they trying to punch me? Are they insulting me? It doesn't matter. I'm bringing it up into a defensive position and sticking at the outside. So if you want to get a little bit more tricky, a little bit more advanced on this first strike, when you step back into your defensive position, that walking stick is out there for them to grab it, okay? We might want them to attempt to grab it, okay? Use that against them. So what I do is when I step back, I do a little pull before I step out and strike. So I come back, they go to grab it, I pull it away and strike their offending limb, okay? So that is gonna be the first strike. Step back, slide a little bit to the right, and if you're left dominant, you're gonna to slide to the left. So we're gonna be back with the right leg, defensive posture, and downward strike. And again, I'm just striking straight down with balance. Now, that is our first strike. Our second strike is a reverse strike, which actually flows nicely from the downward strike. What I want to do is I want to step back to that guard position, step to the outside and strike down, and reverse strike right across the throat, the face, wherever you can make good contact. You could even bring this reverse strike to the bottom, okay? I like going a little bit high with that reverse strike especially if this is a serious threat. We want to end that threat right away. So making this second strike to the windpipe or to the face is going to end that threat pretty quickly. That leads us into our third strike. Again, defensive position, nice and wide and balanced. We're going to step out and strike out. This one is very similar to the downward strike, except instead of going down, I'm going to go across. It's kind of like a baseball bat swing, but not really. My grip is a little bit wider, okay? So again, defensive position and strike out. So let's see how it goes in the back. Defensive position, strike out. Defensive position, whoop, side of the head. Defensive position, to the body. Same thing, to the leg. So now let's put strikes one, two, and three together in a combination. Okay, let's try that. So we come up, defensive position. Straight down on the hands, to the throat, and to the leg. Let's try it again. Back, one, two, and three. Balance is the key with these techniques. If you're not balanced, you're not gonna be able to apply these techniques with the maximum amount of force. And not only that, having the balance to miss if you wind up and this guy moves and you're off balance, you're going down and that's a, different, that's a different problem, okay? So make sure you always practice these techniques slow. Create the motor memory, create the balanced stance, and then as time goes on, you can start putting a little bit more power and become more confident applying these techniques. All right, next one, skill number four. Okay, skill number four, same thing, defensive position, this time. We're gonna step out and do a left strike, kind of like a left cross, left jab maybe, okay? We're going left cross the body. So, stepping back, defensive position, and driving it straight in. We can also go to the back. This walking stick's been a friend of mine for a long time, and I guess now it's time to get another one. Still a good weapon, though. 
All right, get my other walking stick now. Moving on to strike number four. Same idea, back into a defensive position. And we're back and we're gonna drive it to the body, back and drive it to the face. Either way, this is a strike across your body, stepping back and driving it in. Okay, right straight to the face, directly to the body, okay? What's nice about this strike is you can easily get to the outside and just drive it in. You've got so many easy targets to hit. You can go to the knee, you can follow it up with that downward strike, you can follow it up with that cross strike to the side of the head. Either way, all of these strikes work nicely together in a combination. And last one, strike number five. Strike number five, we're not gonna step back into our defensive position and bring it up. Strike number five, we're gonna bring it back into the groin, okay? so. We get a guy on top of us, a quick strike to the groin, again, whack him. Easily sets up into a follow-up strike. Anytime you strike the groin, it's not a finishing strike, it's a setup strike, okay? When a guy gets hit low, below the waist, their hands drop. Perfect opportunity to strike him low and then strike him high, okay? The one, two. Strike him low and then strike him high. And again, you want to be balanced so you can put power and commitment into these strikes. Quick recap. Strike number one, downward. Strike number two, reverse. Strike number three, and strike number four. All four of these strikes can be put together into an excellent combination. Practice these strikes, put them together in a progression, and you'll be ready to defend yourself if the case ever arises. I appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. We'll see you next time on The Modern Defender. Stay safe out there, everybody.